Hey, what's up everybody? My name's Cap and welcome back to the channel. We're on day 67 of our Rags Riches series. Made it through the night. Did not do anything. Sat around and waited for our broken leg to heal. And that's pretty much it. Now we're trying to see if we can't get out of here without falling and hurting ourselves again. That's that's what we were trying to avoid right there. Let's see, I can get up right here. Let me close you. And... Oh, made it! Ha! <laughs> now we have to just try and get off of this building. Okay, so, when we first came over here, um, Trader Dude wanted us to go over and have a look at that crack -a book warehouse building right over that one. And I'm like, nah, I don't want to do that one again. I'm just not in the mood to do that exact same POI again. There's not much reward for there versus the risk. It's just not something I want to do. So, when I was re-watching while doing all the editing, I saw that there was a POIs right across the street from it that I don't think I've really ever done. And so I kind of want to go over and see if we can't go through that. And then after that, we'll start making our way back towards the Casa. Um, I've also kind of made a decision. I have a chest completely full of tools and parts and stuff at the house that I'm not doing much with. And the main reason why is, let me show you here. So we have up in here. So if I was going to make myself a machete, I can make a level one machete. That's not that much. Versus machete parts, if I sell just a stack of two for a hundred of them, I have a bunch of machete parts and things just like that at the house. So, I think for all of those weapons, or all of those items that I can make, but not very good quality of... Oh, hell, didn't even get this box. Um, I'm just going to uh, gather up and sell all the parts in one big um, felt swoop here and kind of clear out that chest a little bit. Oh, nice. Uh, can take you, I guess. Let me see. I don't have anything I can put on you as mod-wise to save some space here. I did make myself... I used a little bit of space or time last night. Let's see. I made one repair kit... Cleaned up my club or whatever that I have here that I can sell. It's not nearly as good as the one I'm rocking, of course. But now I can sell that one for 1162 monies. Should be pretty good. I want to make sure there's nothing else here. A little bit of trash. A little bit of cash. Nice. Okay, so how would I have originally got here if I'd gone out and around that way, I guess? I'm trying to figure out the best way to get down from this place without absolutely hey, killing myself. The idiots are nearby. Yeah, I hear them. I see uh, that's uh, Owen down there. I guess we can head on there and... Check him out, see what he's up to. Hey, what's up, dude? Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you from behind. And a duffel bag. A bone. Sweet. Okay. Uh, let's see. Our gyrocopter is this direction. So we got a couple other people we're stirring. No big deal. Y'all can just mind your own business. Don't care. Eddie. Did you have anything? In the oh, nice. A book we can sell. Nice. That's fantastic. Paper, paper, I'm going to guess paper and paper, paper, and Sid. Oh, he blocked that one with his punch. Well done, sir. Well done on that one. Oh, nice. And, oh, crap, a schematic on that one. Uh, tell you what, we don't need that little bit of cloth. We'll take that because we can sell it. Good block, sir. Good block. All right, so I think the cracker book is this direction. Once I get airborne, I'll be able to figure it out a little bit better. Let's see if we can't take to the skies before we run into anything. I think it's this way. Yeah, it's right over there. Okay, so yeah, it was right across the street. I thought there was some POIs that I have not been in before, like right along this street. And if that's the case, then we'll go over and do these. And then we can worry about trying to fly our happy butts home afterwards. All right, let's get a little bit of extra altitude. See, I thought it was this particular building right here. Right there. Yeah, okay, so the, uh, let me see. Wise Guy CPA and Shit's Law. Edgar, what what are, you, what are you doing over there, sir? What are you? Okay, I don't know what you're doing. You seem like you're having a really good time, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna interfere or anything. But you're definitely kind of weird. Okay, put all this in there. That's nice and full. Got some gas there. Everything's good to go. Food and water's good. Uh, afflictions are done. So I want to go through these. Maybe even hit up these buildings over here. What's in this little building first? Ooh, cash register. Nice. With some actual monies in it. Fan-freaking-tastic. Okay, so this is what kind of shelf? Just a regular old shelf with the empty jar. And that's pretty much it. Okay. I hear you. Where you is? Hey, Jiggles, what's going on? Whoops, I think I just smacked her right in the ta-ta. I'm sorry. We don't hit the ta-tas. We're fans of those, and we leave them alone. Well, I mean, sort of. We don't hit them. Who dat? Who dat? Lois, what's up? 
Glenn, than this bathroom. You're in your respective corners. Oh, never mind. She's in the bathroom. This is an office. Hang on, I hear some... Oh, there you are. Did you finally figure out how to get over the shadow or the crack in the sidewalk that you were stuck on? I swear we just dealt with you, lady. Lay down. All right, let's see here. Now that we cleared out the riffraff, let's see what kind of stuff we have in there. Another empty jar. That's lovely. Though We've found a few empty jars so far today. I kind of like this. This little uh, tile pattern right here. It looks kind of cool. So, yeah. We're on day 67 of this series here. It's still going strong. For those people that are still here, just know that I appreciate it. I'm glad that you guys are still with me and enjoying the series. Um, I do realize series get a little long in the tooth the further you go into those. I'm aware. Um, but, you know, I do appreciate everybody who's hanging out watching them, those of you that enjoy it. And uh, so, you know, if you're here and you still like the videos, leave a like on them. Leave me a comment. Helps the videos keep going. Um, I'm doing my best to try and, you know, get to that millionaire status so that we can uh, be done with this series. But, uh, yeah, it's slow going at times. And I'm sure there's probably smarter ways to go about doing it than the way I'm doing it, but never claim to be a smarty. Did you right in the face hole? Let's see, what else do we have in here? I don't know this POI at all, so this is all going to be rather new to me. Some more ammo. I could use some more 762 ammo. We've kind of burned through that when we got the the large grouping of idiots come running at us the other in that last POI. We uh, definitely went through some ammo. Scrap you, scrap you. I thought about putting some skill points into lock picking so that I don't break as many lock picks because I'm down to 23 there. But instead, what I put my skill points on was I put one more into agility and one more into gunslinger so I can make quality four handguns because if I have the desire to make myself a deagle, I can make a level four now. The Desert Eagle is pretty beastly. I would not mind having that. I would like to be able to make one a little bit better because I'm rocking a six now. And mostly just for the mod slots because this one can hold four. A level four can only hold three mod slots. So that extra mod slot would be nice. Or it can only hold two mod slots? I don't know. Let's get in here. Haha, <laughs> first try. Nice. Uh, parts. See, again, going back to what I was just saying here, is I have a tremendous amount of parts to things at the house that I don't really have the high enough skill level to worry about trying to craft things. Okay, so let me check real quick. So this can hold a maximum of two mods versus this can hold four. So a five can hold three, a six can hold four. Okay, so I thought that's I thought I'd said that right, but eh. Heads up. To from what? Oh, hey, what's up, Glenn? Robocap, I don't even know where you are currently, but thank you for the heads up. Was he hiding in the elevator? Is there anything in the elevator? Hang on, why is there a ladder going down? Ooh, oh. Oh, okay, I got it. All right, so that's the way we technically should have gone to get that, but we figured out a better way to do it our own way. Let's see if I can make this jump. Ha-ha! <laughs> We didn't fall and break a leg. I'll be damned. Maybe that's a sign of good things to come for this day. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and start saying words. What's up, Glenn? You're doing some weird moves, dude. I thought I heard some more footsteps. or somebody in here? You look like you had one really rough day. I'm not sure what's all going with you, but you're missing a foot and the lower half of an arm, and there's an entire decimated corpse next to you. What happened in here? That, that is a lot to have to process. That, I can almost guarantee, is going to take all the lockpicks I have to get into. Those small locks, uh, small safes suck. They suck real bad. But we'll try it anyway. We got 23. Let's see what we can get in here. Well, holy crap. We got in there with only one lockpick as well. Nice. Some more 9mm ammo and some more machine gun parts. More things to sell. Now, I will go through before I just mass sell everything. I will at least glance through and see if there's anything useful that I can make with any of those that I have the high skill point for. Ooh, headlight. I do need that. If I'm going to get some more corn seeds, take those. If I am going to try to make myself a vehicle to sell. Okay, there's been some confusion. Um, I guess some people that are kind of new to... Oh! It's kind of startled me. Kind of new to the series there. Anyway, okay, so this is a custom rule set playthrough here. So no, in, in normal vanilla mode, you cannot sell vehicles. You can only sell vehicle parts. In my playthrough, I can buy vehicles and sell them at the auto dealership that I designated. So no, you can't actually buy and sell real vehicles in the real game. But in my playthrough, I can. 
Um, what are you doing, man? Twitching out. So, if you're new to the series and you're just like, you're wondering, oh, no, 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 Cap, you can't do that. In this series, I can't. I can buy and sell uh, vehicles. Tacos! I do like me some tacos. I'm glad we're seeing some schematics and some books here that we either don't have or we can at least sell them. It's not just all paper in these bookshelves. I'm happy to see that at least a little bit. All right, so I think the next spot we need to go is just upstairs again. I don't know. I can't remember if this is a three or store four building. Uh, looks like at least four. Back up, lady. Oh, that had to hurt. That would hurt if you were a trained stuntman. Taking that fall like that. Nothing in the elevator. You know, one of these days, somebody's going to mod in a working elevator, and I'm going to completely build a base around there. Good long time ago, uh, Alpha 16, I think it was, maybe a little bit earlier, there was a way you could make a hatch elevator. It was really cool. It was totally an exploit. You could, you stack your hatches in a certain way, and then you walk up and open the bottom one, and zoop, it would launch you up to the top of the stack. Uh-oh. Is that Frank? Heads up. No, that's Car Carl. Don't lose your head, man. Anyway, and yeah, that was really cool. Did a video on it. A lot, a lot of people, you know, watched that video and learned how to make it. And it was a cool way to, you know, make a, a fast way to the top of your base if you wanted one up there. And then in true fashion for how things work, they patched it out. Nice, another schematic. We're going to have a ton of stuff to sell. Another schematic. Oh my god. What is up with this? Our luck is never this good with stack. Oh, and a lock safe. Uh, locked safe. Another schematic. Oh my god. If oh, Now I kind of want to go to the Cracker Book as much as l good luck as we've had. Okay, so let's see if we can continue this good luck. Okay, it wasn't as bad. We broke three lock picks, so it wasn't as wonderful. Bandolier mod. Nice. I don't have anything to put that on right now. But... I have some stuff at the house I can put that on there. You should put that on some leg armor or put that on some uh, chest armor and sell it for a little bit more. Those are nice to me. I think I can, I think I can make bandolier. Can I, I think I can make bandolier mod, right? Yeah, I can. So I will, I have been... See, they don't take that many supplies. So I've been making a couple of those and stick on some of the armor pieces that we've been getting. Oh, yeah. All right, well, come on out and get some. Who's going to be first? Oh, hey, we got a... The Double Mint Twins are here to see us. Wow. Oh, hey, and Lois, too. Good Lord. Just getting all kinds of jumped by the ladies today. Uh, let's see if there's anything in here. Doesn't look like it. Not seeing a ladder or anything. You know, a while back, a good long time ago, these things you could actually climb. I don't remember which outfit it was, but you could climb those. It was kind of a way to get up and down certain areas. It's kind of cool, actually. But then they removed that and they put in... Let me see. So they removed the ability to climb the pipes. And they put it in so you could uh, climb a trellis. Like the outside of a garden thingy. And um, that's kind of... It's kind of useful for sure. I'm going to go ahead and just use one of these. Since these ladies keep popping off on me here. And I'll take the other one just in case. So yeah, it's kind of cool that... You know, hold on, let me, let me rephrase that. You used to be able to do that and it was kind of cool and then they changed it. And now you can no longer climb those. Who do we have over here? We're playing a ring around the rosy. Oh, he took one right in the gut. Sorry, Tom. I'm not either. I'm not even going to lie. Oh, sweet. Those rarely have anything in them. That's pretty awesome. See, if I had myself a deagle... I could go ahead and use some of that 44 ammo. Watch out for the stupid birds. Are you upstairs? Yeah, I think we've announced our presence to the people on the roof. Whoa, that was a little bit of a lag spike. I hear footsteps. Owen, what you doing? Are you here by yourself? And I'm hungry again. Uh, okay, well, we're getting a little bit low on our grilled meat. Let's eat a couple of these, get these back up a little bit. I think... No, I, I didn't bring any extra food. Usually I throw like a big food thing on top or in my robo cap here so he can, you know, be my... Oh, freaking stupid bird. You kind of startled me. I'm not going to lie. Uh, so I can kind of eat that, you know, out of his inventory if I need to. Um, 
Can I take this fall without breaking something? I bet I can. That's a bit of a fall, though. Did I... Wait a minute. Hang on. Uh-oh. Bad dog. I heard you growling at me. How did I go about... Okay, so... Hang on. Did I seriously go... Oh, I was going like this. That's why, because I was trying to keep an eye on the thing. I just, like, scooched right on past this. I'm glad I, you know, decided to look back down there. What a moron. Uh, let me see. You'll stack. Leg armor. Uh, wait, hang on. I can go ahead. Let me see. Modify you, and I can put the bandolier mod on there. That'll keep, keep a stack out. Move that over there. Get the rest of that, and we'll see what's in here. Maybe some good food. Come on, stew. Or cat food. We'll eat, we'll just eat the cat food. Not a big deal. And our inventory is completely full. Our drone is almost completely full. Our gyrocopter is almost completely full. So it's a good time. It's probably it's a good thing, I should say, that we're going to be heading home pretty soon. Just want to make sure we didn't miss anything up in here. Without falling off. Okay, let's glance back up here real quick. Stupid bird. Okay, so I think we got everything. We're on top of the world. There's the crack of book. Like I said, we're not going in there. Dudes, dames, drink and dance. We've done this little strip mall thing before. Airdrop to south. All right. Let's see where it's going to put you at. Well, how about we fly down there and get that on our way home? Because we got time. It'll take us a little while to get home. We got to go south of the mountains anyway. I just kind of want to get up here while I'm at the top so I can look around and see if there's any other POIs around here we haven't done. I'm trying really hard when I'm looking through POIs to raid and loot to find some that I haven't just absolutely done a dozen times in this series already. Or even done a bunch of times in other series. You know, it'd be nice to kind of mix it up and keep it fresh. What's up, doggy? I'm not even going to bother carrying your meat. I don't have any inventory. Uh, let me see. Where's the front door? Where do we come in at? <laughs> I don't know. I think through the bullpen over here probably makes sense. No. Where the hell did... Wait, hang on. Was it just... Paper. Okay, that's just paper. Oh, we're duh, we're one floor up still. You big idiot. He was protected. I feel bad. He was just trying to protect my gyrocopter and didn't work out too well for him. All right, so we'll do a quick stack. Of, oh, that actually worked out pretty good. Have plenty of inventory space. All the stuff that stacked up extra here. So we're going to go get this airdrop that's that direction and then we'll worry about trying to head home. There's a lot of POIs here that I probably haven't done. Some of them like the smaller ones, but if they're just like a level one or a level two, PO uh oh, oh, level one or a level two POI at this point, it's like, eh, you get some good loot in there, but they're not as much of a challenge. And if it's already one I've already done before, I don't want to do it, you know, a third or fourth time here. I want to find some that I've never done. Whatever series I do next, unless it's Alpha 21 when it comes out, I definitely want to put the compo pack in there or the other. Um, POI packs so I can get a lot more random ones. Kind of like we did in the Wasteland Warrior. There was a, so many cool POIs in that one besides just the defaults. Now, I know they said with Alpha 21, if we ever get any information when that's coming out, which I don't have, uh, that there's like over 100 new POIs, which is fantastic because we definitely need some new ones here. I'm kind of tired, especially in this world. I have to say... Out of all the series I've done, this world has got to be one of the more disappointing ones. Not the series, the world, or, you know, the game or anything like that. But just just the world itself. The generated POIs here. Because all of the small towns are the exact same. And it kind of sucks. Because I'm seeing the exact same POIs over and over and over again. Corn, taters, and a leather armor bundle. This... I'll open you, I guess. This, this is all stuff. It's just, There's nothing... I can put one mod on each one of these, and they don't sell that much. Collectively, I can get like a thousand monies from that. So, it, it's a thousand monies, yeah. But, uh, eh. I should have landed facing the other direction. I gotta try and ten-point turn this bad boy. Driving this thing is not... Okay, driving this thing on the ground is hard. I, I spend more time crashing it on the ground than I do... Uh, crashing it by running into things while I'm trying to land or running into buildings but time to take to the skies a little bit higher bank off to this direction try not to hit buddy's grains or whatever and begin our journey home 
Got a bit of a drive to get there, so enjoy the music. Good to go. Let's see. Let's eat some meat stew. We'd already made this before we left. We got some crap on a shingle ready to go here. Food and water should be good to go. Okay. Uh, we got everything emptied. We'll worry about trying to get all our stuff ready to go to sell uh, later on. It's, it's day 67, so Idiot Face should have reset over here. I do want to go over and see if he's got any good jobs for us or um, anything good to buy. I still got my stash of 20 on me. 20 large, baby. And that way we can... You know, see if maybe he has any books we don't already have. Do a quick job for him, get a little bit of extra experience. And then what I'll spend time doing is going through and seeing how much of my parts that I can use to turn into something or get ready to sell. And then tomorrow we'll just come dump. Oh, nice. There's two of them in here. We're getting a little bit low on those. We should do that. Eye candy. Eh. Meh. Not really need that at all. Uh, let's see, nerd tats, that's AoE damage. Hackers is salvaging stuff. I think we have some of that at the house that we just never really used. Always want to check, make sure those have reset or not. Sub, dude, man. Your money is welcome here. Is it? Day 60. Okay, so you did reset today. Let's have a look and see if you got any books that I don't have. Steel armor schematic. You know, probably wouldn't be bad for that because I've got steel parts i'm gonna buy that i've got things i could use to actually make some of that stuff it wouldn't be a bad idea to use some of the supplies i have to make some of those even if it's not great you know um you don't really have anything else i'll come back now i will okay let's go ahead and read you and then we can actually make steel uh, armor here so it's not gonna be a lot it's like steel boots it's gonna be level one stuff but if i've got random parts laying around and i can turn the parts into things that i can then sell it might not be terrible all right what jobs do you have that don't suck skyscraper look they're all skyscrapers because they're all tier fives because that's where we are on this one let's see tier fours uh let me see it's a country town business utility waterworks a rural drive-in southeast of us that one might be down at the other one and an old tutor. Country town, but you know what? Help me with my it's sure, really let's do this one. It's literally right down the street. We can run over and do this one real quick. We'll get the experience for it. We'll get a little bit of cashola for it. Shan't take us very long, and it's close enough to the house to where we can get this and get back over to the house and be nice and done skis for the day. Hey, guess what? It's a butcher pizza again. <laughs> How many times have we cleaned out this one POI? I mean, seriously, a lot. We have cleaned up this one POI a hell of a lot of times. Here, I tell you what, you hang on to my sugar butts and I'll put you right over there. Because that's where I'm keeping you from now on, that way I can keep up with you. Okay, hey, well, let's do it again. What's up, Lo uh, Arlene? You're not Lois. Gary, you work at the front counter now? This is a pretty fast, easy POI. There's a decent amount of loot once you get down to the little basement. There's a couple spots upstairs where you could get some books. So it's not terrible. It's not a terrible POI. I've just had to do it a lot. <laughs> we have to remember country POI 1 or country business POI 1 or whatever this one's called is Butcher Pete's. <laughs> she looks really comfortable, by the way. Let's glance around. Nothing over here. We never check these shelves. There's nothing in these things. Besides some water and some cornmeal. Which we could probably use for some recipes. Since I'm kind of going through some of my food that I've been uh, cooked up already. I should probably actually search some of these shelves. Make sure there's not any free food or ingredients in there. Okay. On to the next floor. Nothing over here. You know what? Since it's here... 
We get some mechanical parts and some for or some scrap iron, so we might as well. Kyle, don't wake everybody up, dude. Set Gary on fire and knock Edgar flat on his bootay. Sorry, Gary. I'm not sorry about you. You're kind of... Aw, oh, the bookshelf is empty. Pretty sure the last time we came through here, that one actually had... Aw, oh, that bookshelf's empty, too. There's never anything on the table besides just this one piece of trash. A little bit of wood, sure, I'll take you. Why not? Yeah, I know I can pick up all the chairs and scrap those for supplies and stuff, but we're not doing that either. I'm going to go up here. We're going to uh, kill a dog, and there's going to be a white right around the corner from it. White right up there. Watch out for the stupid bird. Nut shot to death. That's what you get for coming and hitting me. See, I knew it was there, and I still got hit just because he ran around the corner real fast and was like... Judo chop. Sure, we'll take the plastic. A lot of this supplies I'm getting to keep them with me just because I am actually using those for doing the uh, crafting of mods. I'm trying to spend a lot of time crafting mods that could help me make items worth a little bit more. So that's where a lot of the supplies I've been using go is crafting mods at nighttime when I'm just trying to find a, a way to increase the mod or increase the value of some things. You know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say anyway? Bookshelf. Hey, another book we can sell. That's not bad. First aid stuff. Drop. I don't. Was that like there from the last time we did this POI? <laughs> that would not surprise me. That wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. Sure, I'll take you for the cloth and take you and scrap you if I need to. Same thing with these. I can just. Uh. Tell you what, I'll take those. If I need the inventory space, then I'll worry about scrapping those. Huh, first try again. Nice. Bullet tips and some steel spear parts. Let's not get jumped by the mannequin this time. Edgar. Of course it's you. You've caused me problems today. You've hit me a couple times. You and Lois over there in the law firms of... Uh... <laughs> Smack cap around, basically. Y'all have been causing problems. Money. I'm sure, I'll take you and you. Good to go. Toolbox with rags. Alrighty then. That's good to go. Alright, so now we head down into the main area. This is another one of those that I'm pretty sure is just booby trapped via motion here because I can always get like one kill and then everybody's awake. See? One kill, everybody's awake. Come on out. Oh, yeah. Owen, you're a little bit overzealous there, Chief. Just popping some tops now. All right, is there anybody over here that didn't wake up? Get my bolt back. We'll worry about opening you up here in a minute. You don't want any of your stupid friends in here before we want them in here. Sure, I'll take all of that stuff. I don't need cotton. Can see no reason to need that. We'll go ahead and break you down, though. Hi. Come on, seven six. There we go. Some seven six two ammo. I feel like we haven't been finding that nearly as much as we used to. Hey, the idiots are nearby. I thanks. I hear them. They're making all kinds of noise. Can sell all of them. or so both of those. Fantastic. Oh yeah. I know. I'm excited too. Okay, check you and check you, and then we'll worry about cracking into this bad boy here in a second. Parts. Uh, let me see. Okay, so you won't stack. Hey, you. Mare. Okay, I need you to hang on to... That'll work. Tell you what, let me put a couple more things in here like that. Just... There we go. Now we can get the rest of the stuff that's in here. We got that one. Switch to AK just in case. Come on, first try. Okay, that was a long, long ways from the first try. Look, we're down to 11. I don't know how many we started with before that, but there was a lot. Holy crap. And we can take all of that. We're just killing these idiots right over here. Or, I think they're above us here. They're always making a ton of noise. Makes it sound like they're right outside the door here. And they're rarely actually right outside the door. Now, there's a couple idiots right over here that I can never get the drop on. I might be able to get the sneaky shot on one. Usually like that guy right y'all. And then as soon as I cross the border over there, they all wake up and come running at me. There should be one like right there. 
See if I can get just a little bit of a sneak shot right. Hello? Oh, hey, Gary. <laughs> what, what you doing, man? <laughs> you been drinking? Oh, good. Jiggles woke up and came out swinging. So did, uh, I thought Al was going to go over and punch Gary for a second. Hold on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Both of y'all can just back all the way up. Kyle? No, sir. And Eddie, you can back all the way up, too. Al? Seriously, bro? You overachiever? I know, right? He is seriously an overachiever. We'll get the gas out of here. I'm not even going to go up there. There's never anything up there. We're going to run back over to the trader and turn in what we have real quick just so we can get credit for it. Do we have inventory space? Barely. We can get two items for doing that. Let's see if we can not run into something. Then we can go home and spend our night crafting random crap. That seems like a thing we should do. I, it'd be nice. I don't know. I'm almost to the point where it's just like, you know what? I'm just going to empty my chest of parts and not even bother trying to. Because some of the stuff I know I'm not going to like. If I make a bunch of spears, eh. If I can make a level one spear, will it sell for more than what I could get if I just sold the parts? That's going to be one of those I'm going to have to do a little bit of trial and error to see if it would have been better or not, you know, one way or the other. What's up, dude? Compound. A level six compound bow. Ooh. A level stats. If nothing else, that's worth some monies. A steel shovel, that's worth some money, too. I'll go ahead and take both of those. Thank you, sir. Uh, hold on. Am I. My inventory's full. Here, tell you what, I'll use this. That'll give me that one extra spot. I'm glad I'd, you dropped it in front of me and I didn't just leave it behind or something. You ready to head home? Let's do it. Today was a good day. We ended up with a ton of loot. I like being able to come home with three full inventories worth of crap. That's just fantastic. All right, this is going to do it. We're going to run home, drop all this stuff off, and spend tonight seeing how much crap we can craft to get ready to start selling some stuff. Uh, maybe start working towards getting a vehicle we sell. The, the Obviously, the best one that we could sell would be a gyrocopter, because if I can sell it for half what it cost me, cost me 100000 I can sell it for fifty. But it's whether or not it's worth all the, the parts it would take to actually get that or not. So I don't know. We'll just have to see. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor and leave a like on the video. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already, so you don't miss out on future videos. And in the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later.